And today we are going to take a look on how we can have Android on Windows 10 or Windows 11 without having to use an emulator, which is kind of heavy on some computers and it's full of bloatware and a lot of pop-ups and ads and whatnot. So to share the easiest way that I'm aware at this moment, running Windows and at the side Android as well. By the way, if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below now down below you don't need anything else except with some of the videos that we have done a few days ago or a few weeks ago regarding fide os which is the operating system that we are going to use today so for some references that i will be mentioning during the video links will be down below and now let's take a look at the screen which i do have one what we will require for this guide and two tools or two downloads one of which is FidoS and the other one is VMware Workstation Player everything is free so no worries at all all we need to do is to go to the download section and we have seen this on one of the videos that it's down below in the video description which is the download for PC and we have installed in older machines like this laptop we have installed on my desktop as well and the great thing is that we can give a chromebook style better than chromebook and for kids for example for homework and for gaming on android it's just really lightweight and clean but today we are not going to go to that route we are going to use on the side on windows like a so we are going to use the VM version. We just need to download the official download or if it's not available for some reason, we have the cloud mirror right over here and the Google Drive. Now, once we download, I already did and it's on my desktop right over here, we will need VM Workstation, VMware Workstation. And for that, you just need to go to Google, search for VMware and then Workstation Player and then we'd select download for free and where it says go to downloads we just need to press it and then select the version which for our case it's windows right over here and we also have linux but not today now i already download as i said i do have it here on my desktop and for the sake of this video i already installed so i've got the shortcut right over here you just need to install next 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 and that is it so once we install we just need to open it up and you will be faced with a screen like this one which is empty we can create new virtual machines for several operating systems windows and so on and so forth but we only need to open so let's uh, select open virtual machine and i'm going to select the image of fido s that i did download to my desktop which is right over here so i just need to select press open and it's going to open it up and we will see this pop up right over here so i'm just going to name my image and i'm going to call it android and that is it we can also select where we want to save our virtual machines and in this particular case i'm going to leave it on my documents folder so i'm going to import and this stage will take about one minute or so and it's just finished importing and there we go we have our virtual machine ready to start up but before we do start up let's go to the uh, editing virtual machine settings so that we can customize whatever we want so depending on the ram that we have in my particular case in this machine i've got 32 gigabytes if i'm not mistaken actually no i've got 16 gigabytes on this i'm sorry about that just checking out so let's say that i want to increase to i don't know six gigabytes of ram or even eight gigabytes of ram which is a lot but okay i can change the number of processors as well cpu so let's select six and hard disk we could change but let's leave it as 20 gigabytes will be more than fine so let's just press okay and right now let's press on play virtual machine and this basically will boot fight os and while we are booting if you haven't watched any of the videos that i did share about fight os links will be down below including some of the features that you will be able to have on fight os but basically it will have the android operating system really clean and on this particular video i will show you as well how you can activate google play store with just a few clicks of a button and right now we are on the welcome screen so we just need to select our language our keyboard i'm going to leave it 
as is and press OK and then get started. And there we go. We start. Basically, we just need to accept and continue right over here. Really easy. And this is just for the first time. Now, FidoS account or Google account. I'm going to use a Google account because for me it's easier. I actually don't have a FidoS account. I'm going to press next. And this is for myself. If I want to use it for my children, I will select children so that we have more parental control. But I'm going to leave as is and just press next and now i'm going to put in my gmail account credentials username and password so that i can have access just using my google account and once we have our credentials we will have this option for a pin which i'm not going to use right now just skip it but it might be useful so when we log in we don't need to put our password just a pin and here we can select a light theme or a dark or then auto depending on the hour and I'm going to leave it on the dark team and then we are all set. Just press the button to get started. Now, one of the things that I would suggest doing right now, once we log in is when we take a look at here, it says activate the Android subsystem. So I'm going to press right over here, which will open this window. And on this window, I'm going to select, I agree. So launch and we are going to activate the Android subsystem just with a few clicks. So Fido S has some great features. This is one of them. And the Google Play Store is another one, which I will show you just next. And there we go. Once we see this Android menu right over here, the Android subsystem is activated. So we can close this one. And before we activate the Google Play Store, I'm going to these settings because I'm using a 4K screen and I've got this small window right over here. So we are going to change that, going to these settings. And on device, I'm going to select display. I'm going to select a different resolution so it's better. We are going to confirm, but right now let's increase a little bit the size because I can't read very well as it is. Probably a little bit more. And okay, hopefully you can see well and I can see better as well. So we can close up. By the way, in terms of the settings, one of the videos that I did, link down below, we covered already the settings right over here. We can change everything in a really quick, way and really intuitive like Android. But right now let's activate Google Play Store. So we just need to go to this menu right over here and I can close this one for now. Just press the FidoS Store. And once we do that, we have several options which we have covered a few as well, like essentials that we can install a few apps with just one click of a button. But what we want to do is the tab that says made by FidoS we want to configure open gaps. So let's press and select add and it will do everything automatically. We just need to say yes or add or download. Now we will select open app. And once we do that, we just need to agree and say next, okay. And then leave it on install and press next and then select install and then press okay. And this is it. We just need to wait one minute more or less. And that is it. It's finished. And we just need one more step, which is to press the reboot. Actually, one more step and then one other step, which is really easy. Now, unlike the other installations that we have done on computers directly on the hardware, here we have a virtual machine, so we can reboot and no issues whatsoever because we have Windows and we have the Android right over here on VMware. So right now I just need to put in my password. If we choose to have a pin, this is where we are going to put in the pin. So it's a quick uh, login, but in my particular case, I just left for the password. And now if we go to the launcher and we can open it up, uh, the Play Store will appear here in a few seconds. Now, one of the interesting options that FidoS gives us is uh, and very intuitive. For example, this uh, reminder right over here, which if we want to use a computer for a lot of people, which is changing hands, and if we want to uh, factory restore every time we reboot, this is the option to follow. We just need to select on settings, yes, and it will reboot and fresh install everything so that tomorrow you will use it and you can install all the apps that you want. You are learning in a classroom and so on and so forth. But on the next day, it goes to a different children and that children will have the computer at 
factory default so it can do all the exercises again that being said the play store is already right over here so it did appear automatically while i was talking hopefully you could see that and it also appears right over here on the taskbar so if i press the button uh, we have the play store working and i just need to do one step which is the sign in and once we put in our username and password bam there we go the google play store activated and working so i can uh, exit full screen for example or full screen whatever we want but just to show that i'm using the fido os with the play store right over here and i can start installing apps for example youtube you can just press I don't need to read this part, it was a mistake, but just press and install and I can start installing all the apps that I want to use on this virtual machine contained on Windows 11, this a particular example right over here. And one of the things that you will find is that it's a lot faster, at least I feel faster directly on the hardware, but right over here, it's a clean installation contained and the experience has been great. This is not the first machine that I put together. The beginning is a little bit slower. And of course, if we have more hardware that we can put in on RAM and CPUs, the experience will be better so hopefully this video was helpful to share to that side of the screen one of the best ways that i'm aware at this moment to run android on side of windows without bloatware without ads everything is clean everything has this really nice desktop look so we can work on apps on windows we can work on apps on android simultaneously and it's just an awesome experience if you want to run it directly on your computer older hardware or newer hardware links down below for the guides that we have done so far if the video was helpful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one